Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel, I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on the internet with you guys. And let's just get straight into it. So today I have this video called You've Never Seen German Efficiency at Checkout Like This. So it looks like some guy went to a German grocery store and he's about to check out and uh, we're going to see German efficiency like never before. So I don't know what to expect, but going to the grocery store in Germany is an anxiety inducing endeavor for me already. And then this guy is going to, I guess, do it as efficiently as possible or something. I don't know, but... <laughs> I don't know what to expect, but my anxiety is already through the roof just looking at this title. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see how he does this as efficiently as possible. Oh, it's a race. Interesting. Shopping okay. in Germany is a different experience. Checkout times from other countries. Whoa, wait a minute. Go back. Slow is a different experience. Dude, that's the exact broccoli that I buy. <laughs> cool. Experience. Checkout times from other countries will seem super slow compared to the ones in Germany, yeah. which ensures efficiency, yeah. low prices for the customers, yeah. and big profits for the company. Yeah. Aldi is so proud of being the fastest one in the industry. They even dedicated a full blog post about wow. their lightning fast cool. checkout speeds. We have a lot of Aldis in America and they aren't quite as efficient as the ones in Germany, or at least not as fast at the checkout line, but they're still very efficient, very fast when compared to a lot of other places in America. But once you come to Germany, once you come to the motherland of efficiency, ooh, that speed just boom, takes a skyrocket to the moon and you're just bloop, bloop, you're just getting a hundred items a minute scanned and it's just, it's madness. <laughs> and that is exactly where I will demonstrate this German efficiency. Here we go. Shopping with Mr. Ch what? Yo, this is cool. Oh, look at this. It's like a video game. Oh, dude, this is sick. Since I'm not doing this alone, I'll call this any percent double speed run. Time starts when the first item beeps. <laughs> Notice immediately how the cashier does not wait for the customer to get out, saving precious seconds. Now observe the customer True. in front of me use a tote bag. Unfortunately, that exceeded the two star size rating, which forced the cashier to arrange some yogurts for him to go quicker. Ooh. This caused a five second loss in the speed run. Dang. Pro tip, when possible, organize outside the playing area. I've made that mistake several times. Yeah, you have to just take your shopping cart with you. And as they're like, blip, 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 you have to just be like straight into the cart and then you organize it later. That's what I've learned. You can't, you can't keep up with these guys. They got the fastest scan in the West. Do you have to just organize it later just dump it all in your cart or in your basket or whatever unless you have a bag that is huge that you know is way bigger than what you need and then it's kind of like having a shopping cart anyways and you just throw everything in there but if you're not just throwing everything into some place you're not going to be able to keep up that's just what it is let's see how he does here and with the free space here, it makes it possible for Oh, okay. So we're 16, almost 17 seconds in. And right now he's staking his claim to the checkout area here. He did go with the larger bag selection here, which is going to be key. That means that he has a lot of extra space to just throw everything in there without having to actually organize it. And that saves precious, precious seconds in these situations. However, his competition is swiftly approaching from the rear. This lady is coming in hot. And as we all know, the cashier is not going to wait for him to be completed and organized and everything so he needs to act fast here let's see how he handles the pressure to put the ikea bag using a strat called using two hands Ooh, using two hands here a great strategy and one that i have had to learn the hard way you have to use two hands because you just have to survive in this situation. You're fighting for survival at all costs. And here we get a better look at the IKEA bag. The IKEA bag is strong and durable and huge. Again, making it perfect for this double-handed strategy. Tension is really rising here. Let's see what he does next. I'm able to double my intake speed. Great form in there, of great an emergency, form. The backup strat is the... Shop everything in. 
<laughs> the backup strategy of shove everything in, that was my go-to strategy for a long time, but it can lead to damaged items or accidental spills or dropping items on the ground, stuff like that. So now I only use it as a last ditch effort like he is here. If the double hand dexterity doesn't work and you're still falling behind, this is the Hail Mary. <sighs> Scrape it all in and keep it moving. Let's continue. But in most runs, I don't need it. Now, while player two is still putting items in, the next trick is prepare my payment method. Pay very nice, very nice. I actually like to prepare my payment method before I even start getting bloop, 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 rang up. And I try to pay with cards so that I don't have to worry about doing calculations in my head. Maybe I hand them too little and then I have to root around for more money in my pocket or I give them a lot of money and then I have to wait for change and then I have to keep putting stuff in my bag while they're trying to hand me change and I got two things going on at once. It's very overwhelming so I keep it simple. I have my card in my hand and that's it and I take that out before I even get to the cash register. Let's see how he pulls this off. Off, though. Paying with card gives you a few extra precious seconds to organize everything. Yep. And for the cashier, a few extra seconds of auto scroller to relax. If there are no yep. glitches, I won't have to repeat the payment and the game doesn't softlock. Timer ends when the bag hits the other platform. Wow, 53 seconds. A very nice run, I have to say. Even though my run ended, Notice how the cashier immediately continues with the next customer. It's yep. like a constant flow of pit stops. Yeah. 54 seconds. Less than one minute for the whole process. With even a five second loss at the beginning. Yeah. This is what I call German efficiency. Very Amazing nice. Amazing work. Wow. Well played by the cashier, well played by the player himself. Very good strategy and even better execution by all parties involved. I feel like I could implement the larger bag strategy that he had. I don't have any of those large IKEA bags, but seeing how efficient it was, I think that I might need to invest. That's a very good strategy from the looks of it. But I'm curious, what do you guys think? What are your favorite strategies for keeping up with the cashier at the fastest checkout in the world? Do you have any tips or tricks to save some time let us know down in the comments below but at any rate that's all the time that i have for today if you enjoyed consider subscribing we got new videos every single day check the links in the description for all of my other social media including my vlog channel thank you guys so much for being here and as always i'll see you guys tomorrow peace